everyone. This is Mindy Egan for Hero Arts and in today's video I'm going to show you how I created this mixed media card featuring some of the new products from the summer 2022 release including the Hero Wax and Brick Embossing Powder. Here's a look at the large distress block cling that I will be using for my background. Now in mixed media you work in layers and so I'm going to start with the very bottom layer which is the background of my card. I removed the foam insert from my MISTI stamping tool so I could place my background cling in my MISTI and then I'm taking some removable adhesive and adding it to the back of my deluxe white cardstock. Then I'm lining that up over the background. I want to make sure to get the very edges of that background stamp because that's to me what really makes this background stamp so awesome. So now that I have that positioned perfectly and it's stuck down temporarily to my surface, I am grabbing the soft granite ink. And the best way I found to apply ink to this background is by using a rubber brayer. So I'm rolling that in my ink pad to pick up the ink and then applying that over that stamp, making sure to get those edges because that's really what I want. And then I can just stamp this down onto my cardstock and I'm just going for one coat of ink. I'm not going to add more. What I really love about this and using a rubber brayer is it gives a lighter tone. Now I'm going to move on to the second layer of my card, which is using this calligraphy background stamp. It just looks super cool in the background. So I'm inking it up with that same soft granite ink and I'm going to stamp this directly onto my background. So because we used the rubber brayer for that really light coat of ink, using this same color but stamping directly on it is going to look darker. I'm not even going to use a stamping tool for this because I want it to be kind of messy. I don't want it to look perfect. So I am just going to stamp this in different directions onto my cardstock. I'm really taking a look at that background stamp because I want these words or letters to go in different directions. I think that's what makes it really interesting. And it's just adding that little bit of subtle look to the background. Since I'm going to be doing heat embossing, I want to make sure that this background is really nice and dry. So I'm speeding up that process with my heat tool. And then I'm going to bring it over to my make art station, which is just a magnetic station. I'm going to prep the cardstock with an anti-static powder tool and bring in the cobblestone stencil. I'm holding that down with my magnets. And then I have the Hero Arts embossing and watermark ink. I just have a sponge dauber here that I'm picking up that ink with. And I'm going to dab this and kind of swipe this over just a couple areas of the stencil. I don't want to cover the whole background because I still have that subtle interest back there with the two background stamps. Then after I remove the stencil, I'm going to bring in the brick embossing powder. And I'll be honest, when I first saw this in person, I thought it was sparkly, but it's not sparkly. There's white bits in there, which makes it look just so super cool. So I'm going to sprinkle this onto my background. You can see it's sticking to where I put that embossing ink. And now here's the magic, of course, with heat embossing. When you heat this and how you know it's done is that, for one, it's going to be kind of shiny and glossy, but those white speckles are really going to come to the forefront of that brick embossing powder. And that's what kind of gives it almost this sparkly look. Now, once this is all completely melted, here is a look at that background, which I'm totally loving how this is looking right now. For some additional elements to the front of my card, I am die cutting out the butterfly and this leaf from the envelope accessories. And I'm going to run this through my Hero Arts compact cutter. I'm just die cutting them out of the deluxe white cardstock. And I also have another leaf. I need two leaves for the front of my card. My sentiment comes from the sending love mail because I wanted a skinny strip sentiment just for the front of my card. I prepped my pitch black cardstock with an anti-static powder tool, and then I'm inking up my sentiment with the unicorn pigment ink. I'm just tapping it gently because I don't want to distort my letters. Pigment ink stays wet a little bit longer, which makes it really great for heat embossing. Then I can sprinkle on the white embossing powder, tap off any excess, and then bring in my heat tool and melt that embossing powder so I have this perfectly crisp and clear white embossing on that black cardstock. I'm going to die cut it out using this strip die from the bouquet accessories and then I'm going to run it through my compact cutter once again which is super handy to have just right off on the side of my desk. 
I didn't really need the banner end of it, so I'm going to trim that off with my paper trimmer. I just really love how these skinny strip types of dies give it such a clean finish. It kind of has a beveled edge. I want to show you really quick the scrubber block, which I am absolutely in love with. I spritzed a little bit of the Hero Arts cleaner on it and then rubbing that over my sentiment. The dry portion, I kind of go over to just clean it up and wipe off any of my door of my Misty tool. And these are removable, so you can remove this, take it to the sink to clean it off. I love this for cleaning my sentiments on my Misty. Another new product that I'm having a lot of fun with is the Hero Wax. So this is the one in gold. There is also black and white. And I like to just pick it up with my finger and rub it on the edges of my die cuts. So for this one, it's the wings of the butterfly. And it just gives it this really nice shiny effect and just really kind of adds that whole mixed media look that I'm trying to do on the front of my card. I'm pretty new to the mixed media world, but I have been having a lot of fun just playing with a lot of these products. And a lot of these extra products, like the wax or the pearls, they are super affordable. So it's something you can get and just play with and have fun. And taking my leaf die cuts, and I just trimmed off the bottom portion or the stem of it because I didn't want it sticking out too far from the butterfly. And then I'm attaching those with some liquid glue to the butterfly. So I'm going to have a leaf on both edges just to kind of... It's going to frame, I guess, my sentiment is what I had planned for. I'm going to add foam squares behind my skinny sentiment, just remove that backing, and then using my tweezers, I'm going to place this towards the bottom left-hand corner of my card. I also placed foam squares behind my butterfly and the leaves, and I'm going to place that kind of off on the right-hand side. So like I said, it's kind of framing my sentiment. Now, one last thing I wanted to do was bring in some of the Hero Pearls, and these come in just these fun little bottles. I decided to go with gold. I tinkered with the idea of the white, but I decided to tie in a little bit more of the gold. So I'm just going to add a couple little dots to each of the edges of the leaves. And then that's going to finish up my card project for today. I really enjoyed creating this mixed media card and just building up these layers to form this amazing background. So if you're just getting started with mixed media, my suggestion is start slow and work in layers. Start with your background and just build up. And you really don't even need to add a lot to the front. Really, sometimes it's just a few die cut elements and a sentiment. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great day.